Hey everyone, and so this morning, still this morning, but um, really early this morning, like half an hour ago, I went down to the shopping centre and I went to Gumper Shop and I got some stuff that I have been needing desperately. <laughs> um, here. Okay, just on my face now, I just have foundation just so I can show you like some of the actual face products I got. And um, I have no eye makeup or anything on right now. Um, I just kind of ran, just shoved on clothes that I had on. Um, like, just on the jeans I had on yesterday, just ran down. Um, yeah. I got the <coughs> Super Dog Beauty card, which I've been wanting. It's in my first one. Okay. So, one of the things I picked up is an eyelash curler. This was just a pound. Um, I got it so that I could, like... I got an eyelash colour because I used to have quite a good eyelash colour, it was quite expensive, it was £8, pound. it was a Q QVS one or something, it was okay. Um, I have heard that the best eyelash colour out there was is the Shuramura eyelash, cur uh, eyelash curler. Um, I just really want to see if curling my eyelashes is really necessary for me. I do have quite curled um, long eyelashes naturally. I just want to see if curling them really does make a difference and if I really do like it um I get used to it I will go buy the Shermer run but I will have to save up for that first um this is from Glamour Roots um Glamour Eyes yeah Glamour Eyes that's top there um just your standard eyelash curler um it feels the actual like metal of it feels a bit weird um has like the little sponge bit and um, yeah. Okay, so looking at this, um, I don't know if it actually has made a difference um, between my two eyes. Wait, I guess it has. This one is more curled. Um, so, yeah, thumbs up, Gina. Yeah. Yeah, they are definitely curled because I have quite long lashes. I can actually feel them. Wow, that was, that was actually quite good. The next thing I got is just um, just an eyeshadow brush. Um, I have my MAC 239 but um, I've been like when I'm using a bright colour and then I put it on my eyelid and then I want to use another colour I don't really want to use the brush that I have been I don't know yeah so I can't open this it's just a super drug one make I just wanted a cheap one open this but um it says it is for blending eyeshadows and concealers so I'm saying must be thinking it's synthetic bristles looks quite good so I'll open it and um I'll it. so then I got my NYC face powder in chance listen I'm so happy they only had one left I was like I have to get this. Um, I'll open it up now. Oh it's so nice the new. Hands with a little puff thing. I may actually use that this time. So probably do it like this then just take a brush and just dust off all the extra.
you don't actually realise how happy I am to actually have this back on. Yeah, I've been really missing it. Um, just, I love this product to death. Okay, next thing is from Makeup MUA. Um, I was looking for some of the pro stuff because, um, you know, that's just came out. But um, they didn't have it in now. So I got a blusher. For, this is a pound line. This is in shade 1. And um, it's a pink with like little, it's like a baby pink with like little bits of gold glitter in it. It is gorgeous. And it says, MUA, love how that house kind of stamped into it. I really like that. Um, the blush I have been using is from e.l.f. and um, it's really, like, in comparison, I like this, it's kind of similar, they've got like, little bits of glitter in them, but that one's really kind of darker, I wanted one that was more light. Oh that's gorgeous, it's really subtle as well, which is what I've been wanting, so let's try this one. Yeah, I like that a lot. Is actually really buildable. Yeah, I like that. And um, you get two point four grams. So it's quite good. The next thing I bought is also from MUA, and it's just a clear mascara. This is just for over my eyebrows, which I have been needing. Then I also want, I've heard good things about their lengthening mascara and I wanted to try it. So yeah, let's open this up. Try to kill brush them. Let's try this. Try on the curl lashes. actually really nice. I really like that. Yep. So I have it on this eye. No, nothing on this eye. So this is one has been curled and mascara on this one has nothing on it. Yep. Really liking that. So um, the drawer's looking a bit more filmy, which is always good. Next thing I bought is also from Emily. Oh, and it's just a lipstick. And um, this is in shade 13. Let's just see it's bright. Yeah, yeah. Well, I used to have the wet and wild red one, like the bright, bright, bright red. I just did like more cool toned red lipsticks. Oh wow, that is just amazing. Look at it, it's so bright. Swatch it. Wow, love that. Wow. Okay, and then I bought another lipstick. And this is in shade 3 and this one is like a bright, kind of, it's not like a bright pink but it's like a bright dark pink, if you know what I mean. Um, yeah. And it's kind of got some, like a plummy undertone to it. It's just gorgeous. I watched this and I was like, oh I have to buy this. Not my hand. Oh wow. <laughs> Look at that as well. Mm. Oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. That's that pink one there. Love that. Then the last two things I bought are from Beauty UK. And these were 3 99 each. And um, they're eyeshadow palettes. Okay, so I'll show you this one first. It's not as exciting as the other one. Now um, this is the eyeshadow collection one. And um, these colours, it just comes like a little sponge type applicator. Uh, applicator. These colours are gorgeous! I'm most excited about this one, one of the ones I'm really excited about. It's like gold and oh this one's like a champagne kind of colour and oh wow they're just gorgeous. And then they have like these greens which are super pretty. And a darker green and that one's like, this one's like really olive green, it's gorgeous. And they have like blues and purples and Pinks. Wow, they're gorgeous. So I got that one, and it's really nice packaging actually. 
So yeah, really like these. I'll do a review on these later. And then this one is eyeshadow and eyeliner collection in the first one. And this one comes with a really cool applicator. It comes with like a little fluffy bit and then like an angled um, brush. I tried that earlier already. Look at that! Wow! So these colours are super, super, super bright. They are amazing. So let's just do this blue one. Wow! And um, yellow. I find yellows are really hard to find one that actually stays true to the colour that is in the... So these are amazing pigmentation. Um, let's try the green. that green and then there's a shimmery like icy blue it's gorgeous and when it comes to uh oh, let me get a white white thing it comes with um a blue and a black gel liner so just like a jet black one and then bright blue one wow so, when I have lots of them, that, that blue would be great as like a base as well, like underneath them, underneath some of the shadows. And um, so yeah, super excited for these and yeah, adds more to my eyeshadow collection. If they fit in the palette drawer, I'm going to have to get like, reorganise all the stuff because there's not really a room for all. And yeah, it's all a bit of a mess and it's all made reorganised and stuff. And then with this because um, I get complete a short survey at superdrugfeedback.com for 25% off Superdrug own brand and 10% off branded goods on your next visit to the store. Okay, so I'll just run through the prices and everything, okay. So the eyelash colours were a pound, the MUA lipsticks were a pound each. The MU mascara is a pound. The NYC um, loose powder was two ninety nine. The MU mascara was a pound. The blending brush was one ninety nine. Um, the Beauty UK palettes were three ninety nine each. The Emily blusher was a pound. So it came to a total of eighteen pound ninety six. Yeah, so worth it for the makeup that I got. Money well spent. And I will talk to you guys later and I will be doing some tutorials today on those eyeshadows and stuff. Bye!